Happy holidays, everybody. It's December here in Ann Arbor, which means that the cold has descended and the campus is about to clear out for a couple of weeks. And I wanted to wish everyone in the LSA community a wonderful holiday season. Now, in case you're worried that you might run out of things to talk about over a holiday meal, here's a little gift from me as the Dean of LSA, who also happens to be a linguist. It's a few interesting tidbits about the histories of the words happy and holidays. The word holiday goes all the way back to Old English, the time of Beowulf, and it comes from the compound holy day. That's right, the word holiday originally had religious meanings, but by around 1400, it had generalized so that it came to refer to any day of festivities or a day when ordinary work is suspended. Now, what about the word happy? Well, here's an interesting fact. The hap in happy is related to the hap in mishap. The word hap first appears in English around 1200, and it can mean a couple of different things. It can mean fortune or chance in general. This is how mishap refers to bad fortune, and perhaps is by chance. There's that hap again. Now, one of the other meanings of hap was good fortune, and this is where happy comes from. So a happy person is someone who's experiencing good fortune. And over time, happy also comes to include joy and contentment. One of the real joys for me of being the Dean of LSA is being surrounded by students and faculty and staff who inspire me every day by their sense of purpose and their commitment to the educational and research mission of this college. I feel deeply lucky to be part of this community. I hope that these short word histories have added a little linguistic sparkle to your holidays, and I wish for everyone joy and peace in this holiday season.